happy to see me again. And that, is it something you've always wanted to do? Have you always wanted to do? Um, yeah, probably. I think I've always been interested in the human condition in, in whatever in whatever way you want to look at that. I think I'm, I'm interested in how the, the remarkable resilience people have, how their strengths and how they rise to challenges of ill health as well as as, as challenges of just adapting to disabilities, and which is my particular area of interest, particularly after often life-changing events that people experience. I, I think in the abstract, you know, if you think that might happen to me, you think I'll never be able to cope with that. But people usually do, and, and they're remarkable. So I'm interested in sort of being a partner with them along that journey and helping them to, to, to be back to a level of function and, and working within their families and communities that they want to be. That's brilliant. Okay, so what would you say is the most rewarding aspect um, of working in your specific discipline? I think my discipline, which is rehabilitation medicine, is, is, is different in that it's not disease specific. It's not about a particular area of interest. It, it's a more global specialty. So uh, what we're interested in is the is the effect on the human being of the of the illness that they have. My particular interest is neurological rehabilitation, and particularly after traumatic brain injury or spinal cord injury, for example. Um, so I think what's interesting about my specialty is it's a, it's a great general specialty. You need to be really quite good at a lot of things, but not super good at one specific thing. And you can draw all of those experiences around around the patient and make sure that you can make sure you can target um, what they need effectively. Okay, great. So um, tell me a bit more about that ty typical patient interaction. So when you first obviously see a patient, tell me about that process. Yes, I mean, I might see a patient at the worst possible time of their lives when, you know, they feel that the future is pretty bleak and their, their family's distressed, something dreadful has happened, often out of a clear blue sky. And I'm there really to say it's okay, that there will be life after this, there is hope after this, and, and we're already making plans to, to see how you are going to take up the reins of your life again. So I, I think what's really important in that often very, very frightening, perplexing time for people is, is to be there. And from the earliest point, uh, people sometimes think rehabilitation is, is something you tack on to the end of, of someone's journey, but it's, it's in there from the beginning. And if you can be a signpost and a guide, people find that they've got direction, they've got hope that there's going to be a few, they've got control back. And, and you're giving them real opportunities to, to take up that control again. So I think, yes, I, I see a typical patient. There is no typical patient. Every, everybody is, is their own person with their own context and beliefs and uh, weaknesses, strengths. Um, so I, I'm interested every day in the patients that I meet, and they're all different. So either it's something acute or it might be someone who's who has a chronic disability that they're accommodating to or trying to find the ways of maintaining that accommodation as, as different things happen. Um, and some of those patients are the most inspiring because they find their own answers with a very little bit of help from me. So, um, yeah, yeah I mean, no, it's great. I wondered if you could um, touch a, a bit more on that in terms of patient control and how involved they are in this you know, journey that you're on together. I mean, obviously, you're medical knowledge and everything is invaluable, but how important is it that they are involved? In oh, the I mean, rehab more than virtually anything else, I think. You, you can't do it to somebody. It, it's about the partnership. That, that's, the, that's the fun bit as well. It's about working together and learning from each other to say, how, how might this work for you? Let's focus on this. I mean, one of the, one of the sort of focuses for, for therapists with whom I work very closely in my role is to set goals for patients, but the patients set the goals. I mean, you know, it might be something, I, I want to be able to walk my daughter down the aisle for her wedding day after this devastating set of injuries. And it's our job to say, okay, what do you need to do that? What are all the things we need to draw together? Um, and you, you tell us when you're ready. So I think what's key is that they're very, it's very much a partnership. It's, it's not a sort of older fashioned medical model. It's a fully integrated model with a patient at the center of everything that we do, really. Fantastic, okay. So what are some of the most common concerns that people come to you with and how do you look to help them? Yeah, that's a big question. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking of a... a, a